the main and focal point on, on this page 127, the main thing we talked about, is when you guys have congruent chords, chords that are the same length, they're congruent, equal measurement, equal length, then their arcs are congruent, right? RQ is congruent to MP. That's in your notes. That was the whole process. That's everything. The major thing that we talked about is when you have chords that are congruent, right? A chord, just a line that touches a circle, two endpoints. When those are congruent, your, your um, arcs are the same. Yes? So you don't need to make a triangle? We don't need to worry about the triangle, though. Okay. Let me help you out. So therefore, if this is 67, then does that make sense? Then that's 67. Yes. OK. Now, the reason why the triangle's up there, because that's what they're asking. They're asking for x. Now remember, what x represents, Philip, is the central angle. And remember, when we were talking about over here, the central angle is the same as your arc measurement, right? If I had an angle down here like that, then that angle is 1 half of x, right? That's what we learned after that. The first, so the first day we talked about circles, the measure of your arc is the same as your central angle. Then what we le also learned yesterday, which was for page 129, was that if you had an angle off of it with the same endpoints, then that was 1 half of x. But we're not concerned with that. I'm just adding to it because some students were confused last time. So if that's 67, then that has to be 67. So x um, equals 67 degrees. And that's it. Done.